So, of course, yesterday we joked about liberal tears, but turns out Jimmy Kimmel is actually crying over Trump's win. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants who make this country go, um, <laughs> for health care, for our climate, for science, for journalism, for justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for our allies in Ukraine, for NATO, for the truth, and democracy and decency. And it was a terrible night for everyone who voted against him. And guess what? It was a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet. Oh my gosh, ladies, I, I didn't realize until Jimmy Kimmel just said that we have no more free speech. Oh, we have no we more we lost right. everything. Apparently. Social Security's gone. Wow. Uh, people online are laughing at how pathetic Jimmy Kimmel is, including rapper Lil Pump. Others telling him it's time to get over it because Donald Trump is once again your president. Uh, Krisha, yeah. you know, obviously Jimmy Kimmel and the elites aren't the only ones crying. We've got Harvard, UPenn, Princeton all canceling classes to deal with students and more or less it was the professors who were just mm -hmm. so upset university of oregon were giving students duck therapy <laughs> we have virginia tech giving kids uh dog therapy therapy dogs uh krisha oh my what? gosh well the common theme here alex and charlotte is grow up <laughs> Everyone needs Girl. to grow up and move on. It was a great yeah. night for me. I enjoyed it, as well as the majority of the country. I mean, Trump won the popular vote. So yeah. by saying this, you're basically mm -hmm. putting down all these voters and the majority of our nation. And it's so sad that uh, people like Jimmy Kimmel, as well as these elite institutions, can't reflect on what occurred here. And they're basically again, alienating the yeah. majority of our voters, especially Harvard. As you mentioned, I'm a Harvard alum. I'm so Very disappointed exciting. in their response. No wonder their endowment is down over $150 mm -hmm. million dollars. that had to do mm -hmm. with anti-Semitism mm -hmm. and their antics there as well. It's so disappointing to see this. Again, not a unifying yeah. message and uh, really pathetic. <clears throat> you know, you mentioned, you know, you went to Harvard and you went there to get a great education so and generous. you paid a lot of money. <laughs> right. If you're waking up on campus, and you get an email like some of these that were sent. This is this is one uh, from a Harvard professor mm -hmm. to his class. As we recover from the eventful election night and process the implications of Trump's victory, please know class will proceed, but feel free to take all the time you need. You don't need to come to class because I'm not going to give you any quizzes. I'm not going to give you any tests. That's what this one professor said. Mm -hmm. And they said people are mourning mm. and they're allowed to just stay away from class. And some classes, as you mentioned, canceled. If I'm paying a lot of money for a Harvard yeah. education, yeah. I want to be able to go to class. This is like <laughs> ridiculous. Right, and these safe spaces, as Alex said, oh. they're bringing in ducks and Legos and all sorts of they therapeutic need therapy? tools. They need therapy? Move on, grow 18 up. 18-year-olds used to go to war. <laughs> exactly. My gosh, and I just want to say all these rights, and we're so sad for our women. Mm -hmm. So these liberals who go on TikTok, these women, and they're in the cars that they are allowed to drive. They have the phones that they own, and they complain about women's rights in the United States of America. What I want you to do, I want you to go to the Middle East where they have Sharia law. Great These point. women are not allowed to have a job. They're not allowed to get an education. Most of them are not allowed to go in public without a male guardian. A woman in Afghanistan had her fingers cut off because why? She was wearing nail polish. There are child brides over under Sharia law. You're not allowed to divorce an abusive husband. This is what is oppressive is those countries. Us women right here in the United States of America, we are not oppressed. This is the freest country in the entire world. You have every right you could ever want. Those women can't mm -hmm. even own a driver's license. Well, in a lot of the places you're talking about, it, one of them is Afghanistan. Yes. And Afghanistan was actually getting much better. And then when Joe Biden decided to withdraw troops from Afghanistan in August of 2021, it completely reversed mm -hmm. in time. Good and point. now new laws have been stated in Afghanistan, reverting back to decades ago. And now, as you mentioned, women are not allowed to go to school past sixth grade. Uh, and the list goes on and on. And and all of those things are happening now because of the decisions of Joe Biden yes. and Kamala yes. Harris. Yes, yeah. yes. So that is what oppression is because you cannot, whatever you claim your rights, you, I have not heard one right you guys have come out with you cannot have under Donald Trump. And I'm sorry, go take your tears over to the women that are under Sharia law that cannot do anything. It's just, it, it, it just blows my mind. You know
Information. Truth. Is freedom. Is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.